Good evening, everybody. It's that time of the year again. It's time to make paper snowflakes. And this year I wanted to experiment a bit more with these snowflakes, more than just cutting something out of a paper and seeing if it's good or not. And I have been doing these basic uh, designs and I am going to model them in 3D in Blender so that the snowflake is complete and then I can see whether they are good or not. I can tweak them, tweak the design and then I will copy the design back to the paper and cut them out. I've been looking through some macro images of snowflakes to get the feeling of how they appear in nature because I want to make snowflakes that are natural looking and still creative. So let's get started with Blender. Okay, so I got a bit late while I was doing the designs, I had to go to sauna and everything. But I am really happy with the results and I will be back tomorrow. Actually it's been two days already because I haven't had much time to film the video. But now I am at my parents place. Uh, they are on holiday, they went to Turkey and me and Ina are here to basically empty the mailbox and stuff like that. And I think we should forget the paper snowflakes for a second because we still have some daylight outside and I have to do some snow removal work there and um, I don't know, I thought it would look nice or something. It's still snow though, it's kind of on the topic. So we'll do the snow removal and then continue with the paper snowflakes. Okay, now that that's done, we can now continue to the snowflakes. And I have those designs here with me on the computer that I did two days ago, and I was thinking about how I should copy the design on these papers. I thought about simply just printing them out, like templates that I could just fold and then cut out. But that's not exciting at all. I think I want to actually draw the design with pen and then cut it out. So I then thought about placing the paper on the screen and then drawing them directly through the paper. But that's not really cool either. I could always just freehand the design on the paper by just looking at the image. But the problem with that is that when I was doing the designs in Blender, I noticed that even the slightest errors in angles and distances show up quite badly in the snowflake. So I'm not really sure how I should do it. But I think I will start by doing two versions of the first snowflake. First by drawing through the paper and then by drawing freehand from the image. And then I will cut those ones out and see how much the freehand drawing affects the final snowflake. And then I will do the two other ones. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to get the paper square shaped, not a rectangle like this. And then we need to fold the hexagonal shape. And then we fold it once more because our design is made like this. I now have two templates. I'm going to draw one freehand and one through the paper.
Okay, I have done these two flakes. This one was drawn through the paper and this one was drawn by hand. And I think this one is a bit more symmetrical and nice looking, but the difference is definitely not as big as I thought it would be. So I think I'll do the rest of the flakes like this, hand drawing. Okay, that was it. All three of these snowflakes are finally ready, and I think they turned out quite nice. When I get home, I'll put these on the living room window like I did last year. Thanks for watching, and bye!